Welcome back to A Game of Thrones. I have a bit of an announcement to make. So I've been thinking about doing something like this for quite some time, but I figured seeing as the Patreon is doing really, really well and the channel series are doing quite well, kind of got into a good routine with those that come out like clockwork, so I figured I'm going to start a third series, and this is something that people have been asking for for quite some time. I'm probably going to start work on, over the next couple of days, a series about CK2 modding. A lot of people have been asking for it. And it's something I didn't really want to commit to because it's, it's, there's a lot of work behind that, a lot of research and making sure that everything that I'm saying is, is right, so I'm not, um, fucking people over with that. But, I figured I'm gonna do something like that, mainly because it's quite heavily requested, especially with some of the things we've been doing with this series as well. So, for those of you interested in that, probably over the next couple of days, I will start work on, sort of, uh, an introductory episode, just generally going over some stuff. And at the end of each episode, I'll let you guys vote on what you actually want to see next for the series out of two options. And then we'll sort of slowly ramp it up and get to more complex stuff as the series goes on. Just as a sort of general introduction again, I'm not the best modder. I don't have a huge amount of experience with CK2, but I generally know more or less every aspect of it um, in a sort of very vague sense. I know, you know, how to make cultures, religions, um, you know, the more complicated sort of scripting aspect of things. Uh maps as well whatever I, I know it very i have a sort of very general knowledge you know jack of all trades master of none so i figured i might as well um even if it's not hugely beneficial to certain people with some experience out there at least it'll be a nice place to consolidate some of the resources that are out there right now because a lot of the tutorials are kind of a bit old and a bit dated so if we can just get an updated series out there that might help uh usher in some new mods i feel like it'd be worth it so gonna do something like that Hopefully you guys enjoy that type of thing. Let me, let me know if you're actually inter interested in something like that before I go ahead and commit hours and hours to it. And uh, we'll take a look at that, hopefully, within the next few days. Corsair King, Jesus the Brilliant of Gogosos. Last episode we went on a big old uh, a big old journey. We met Top Bog Spoff at the very, very edge of the world. The five forts, it turns out, are actually down here. I kind of had a feeling. Um, sort of around this area, I believe. Um, it might even be just here. Anyway, like, it doesn't matter too much. Met Top Bog Spoff. And we looked across the grey wastes with our good and powerful and noble friend whose new capital is apparently on the Saffron Isle. Got sick of a shine, left. He's so incredibly good, isn't he? So powerful. Has he got anything else since we've last checked on him? Um. Uh, oh. Oh! Skull of Tyveron the Ravenger, who died a natural death. Oh, well, that's that's kind of a sad story. Outlived his incredibly powerful dragon. Well, there we go. Top box buff, everyone. Congratulations. So, what is the goal for this episode? Well... I think, seeing as we're still technically away, we're also wounded and have an infection from that bar fight we got into in, in like, Kohor or wherever it was. I think the first thing we need to do is ensure that we don't die. Not only that, we also don't have an heir, uh, because of the whole, uh, brothers and other relatives tragically dying unexpectedly. So we're going to take the family focus for a little bit of health and the extra fertility as well, try and keep the family alive. I think we should really start work on the holy sites, and I've sort of had an idea with this area as well. So we haven't done it for a couple of series, uh, not since Julius Nepos, I believe, so it's, it's been like two or three series now, because I, I don't want to do it for every single one, but I do have the whole Patreon houses, Patreon kingdoms going along in the background. So my sort of plan for this is, let's take all of the Summer Isles here, and let's convert that over to sort of the Patreon Isles, if that makes sense. So we'll give a duchy each to one of the houses that I have on the list, and obviously rename them to the houses that you guys have given me. And then for those of you who aren't patrons, you can sit and laugh as the patrons murder each other, for a bunch of useless jungles. I think that would be pretty goddamn funny. It's almost going to be like a battle royale over in the uh, over in the Somerset Isles there. Between lovely patrons. So that's the goal. Plus, it's also a holy site. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone here. Um, we need the, the trees. Is it just called the trees? Okay, fair enough. Uh, we just need the trees from Tall Trees Town. So what we'll do is we'll probably just start in the south. And, and conquest our way north here. That should give us, I believe, the Empire level title, right? Because you only need... Throughout the three kingdoms, we already have Gogasos. I don't particularly want to get the kingdom of Sothorios in a hurry. Um, seeing as it's all cursed and it's all colonies. And we don't really have the economy for that right now. 6.74 gold per month. We are a little bit over our domain size here. But we are just waiting to get that other... Um, wait, did we set up Narth as a holy site? Oh, we have. I can give away uh, Narth then in that case. We'll just give it to any gogasos uh Corsair vassal, I guess. So let's go ahead and employ someone new to take this off our hands. Don't have to deal with fucking Narth of all places. Um... Generally, we're looking for a steward, so I guess a Lord Treasurer. Marin. He's okay. He's, he's not terrible. He's content, which is exactly what you want for a vassal. Here you go. Grant honorary title. You may have Narf for services rendered. Welcome. A nice content Corsair. Sweet. So, that dude can look after that. And again, you know, him being uh, content there means that he's not going to rise up and, and mutiny. So, we don't have to worry about that too much. Four out of three. What else have we picked up then? Um... We've got Gogasos, we've got the city there, we've got the Isle of Toads. Is it just because we have less stewardship than our previous character? 
Oh, we've only got 11 stewardship. Why? Um, oh, infection gives a minus three. Okay, so when we're not infected, I'm sure we'll have enough stewardship. We should have enough stewardship. What's the formula on this one? Um, oh, because we've got a region. Right, that actually makes way more sense. So when we get back, uh, we're beginning the journey home. I thought we'd already done that. What an amazing journey. There we go. And we should be... Ah, uh, nice. Four out of four. With the infection gone as well, maybe we've been able to hold Narth. I'm pretty sure in the Game of Thrones, though, you're quite limited in how much personal domain you can hold. So because we're a course air king, we actually get three times what we should be holding. The base is one. So you're only supposed to hold one um, sort of province for yourself in this mod, just because of the way the world of ice and fire works. So you got kind of lucky with the whole course air king thing, I guess. So, what's the plan? Um, one of you said Siege of Shy, because for, for loot, because they're constantly at war. Um, I did take a look at it. A Shy have, like, a garrison of, like, 6,700 men and no loot. So we won't be doing that. Also, I don't really want to piss off Top Bog too much. I do want to head back to Karth. Try and grab that dragon mine horn because I can't sort of overstate how powerful that is. Plus, look at how much gold they've got there not protected by their fort level. 160, even if we don't siege the place down. Um, not that we could anyway because they've apparently got 6,000 men kicking around. But we have a fair amount of troops since we've been away on our little adventure. Do you want to try and unify the last of the pirate isles? So the Isle of Flies is apparently separate probably because of their mutiny. Um, there's also the Isle of Lice. And then we have uh, Vines, Skull Island and Axe Isle. And then we have the entirety of... Um, the Corsair Kingdom of Gogasos there. So I feel like that's probably not a bad idea. Let's put the troops back down then for a second. Um, so Isle of Flies. 600 men. They're not event spawned, are they? He just got them raised for... Oh yeah, so he has 200 men event spawned. Right, fair enough. Let's go ahead. Pirate Invasion. Boom. And I'm going to probably do my usual thing. So the Isle of Vines actually have a hell of a lot of men, don't they? 1,200 and... Uh, can we raise enough men nearby to fight that? Yes, we can. We've got 3,000 men nearby. Sure. Okay, well, let's put the Isle of Vines down then, seeing as they're apparently already sending troops over to raid us. I feel like we might as well deal with this dude as soon as possible. Take this one out, and then I'm just going to declare them all at once. Why the hell not? Let's tidy this up first before we obviously go elsewhere and try and take off, like, the Summer Isles and things like that. So, raise the troops. Do I want Jesus leading troops, given that he is horribly infected and wounded? Probably not. But now that he's home with the family folk, because there's more chance of obviously him being treated successfully in it, and uh, a lot lower chance of him dying horribly, especially now we're taking the family focus. Oh, good. Instantly severely injured and died. Oh! He probably did a Corsair sacrifice, didn't he? You fool. You absolute big idiot. Yeah, first thing he does, sacrifices himself. Incredible. Right, okay. Um, maybe I should make it so the AI don't do that. I kind of wanted to leave it open so the AI had access to that type of thing, but I never really thought about them uh, just nerfing themselves into the ground like that. They don't really have any sort of concern for their own life. All right, we're going to have to employ someone new now, for God's sake. Um, ah, we can't. Right, let's see what we've got in the character finder. Uh, my religion, my culture, any nice boy. Hello, nice boy. Uh, Melanar, I recognize you. Oh, right, yeah, it's because you're married to my sister, and you're also our treasurer. kind of don't want to lose him, though. Donalos, you'll do. Why not? Again, I'm going for the high stewardship, higher chance of conversion. Uh, you may have the lordship of Narth. There we go. Boom. You're more than... Oh, shit. I gave him the duchy level title. Wait, Narth is a duchy? I guess it would be, because it's a single... Pro okay, fair enough. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Honestly, it's really not that much of a big deal. Right, let's embark everyone so we don't get immediately smashed. We'll deal with the Isle of Lies first, and then these boys are apparently fighting... Grizzar's pirate fleet? Who are you? Just a rat... Like, actually just an independent pirate lord. Okay, fair enough then. Is he actually a pirate? No, he's a Corsair. I don't know why that is. We've received word from Talon. Corsair Maris has led a... I don't know where Talon is? Who is... Wait, our vassal? Oh, wait, is that independent? Did I actually never grab that one? Maybe they had a mutiny. I just never even noticed because I'm a fool. Okay, fair enough then. Jesus, take the wheel. Dayron and his fucking incredibly fancy armor. Look at this dude. It's because he's high Valyrian. Turns up in this really, really fancy plate mail that kind of doesn't cover his beard up. Um... I feel like it's a weakness of the armor a little bit. I feel like someone could grab that quite easy. All right. Welcome uh, to my pirate empire. Burn them all. Throw them in the irons. Boom. All right. Problem solved. How the hell did I not get Talon? They must have mutinied, right? I didn't realize that when they actually mutiny, though, you lose control over them. You have to basically, like, go and grab them again. We could convert to feudal with this character. Um, it's fairly easy to convert to feudal as a pirate. You just change religion, which is basically the easiest way to do it. Or... More likely, we could do something like abandon piracy, so we can renounce piracy there. The only issue with that is if we're trying to reform the religion, which in turn will also help us abandon piracy, or will make us abandon piracy. If we're trying to reform the religion, we do want to stay as a Corsair for as long as possible. So we are going to have this sort of more difficult playstyle for, for quite some time. Oh god. Oh god, seriously. You're travelling by carriage in the countryside of Talon when it comes to a sudden halt. 
The road has been blocked by a fallen tree, and the coachman explains you will have to make a slight detour on an isolated, smaller path. No, you fool. It's a trap. Who is this dude? My vassals are trying to kill me. Oh, come on. My vassal of the Isle of Serpents. Great. Okay, well, we'll chuck him in a prison. Uh, we've got righteous imprisonment against this dude. Um, Princess Node as well. And this random woman. Are they plotting to... Oh, they're all plotting to kill us. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh... <laughs> um, right, okay. In hindsight, check the known plots tab more. Okay, that's fine though. We can we can deal with that in a second. That's no problem. I'll just go ahead and deal with these. Uh, we apparently captured someone in battle, but we've no idea who it was. We'll deal with these couple of wars to start off with. Cause it's only a 30 second sort of uh, turn up, siege it down, leave. Right, thank you very much. My wife is pregnant. Hey, that's what we wanted to hear. So at least now we're not going to get a goddamn game over. It's just good to me how actual, actually close to a game over we are right now. Um... If we were to get assassinated, that would be it. Oh, right. So when we actually subjugate them, which is essentially what we're doing. Normally, okay, so say you do a Norse subjugation in the base game. the sub They, they get an opinion, subjugated me, which gives them a bonus with you. It, it gives them some points towards your relationship with them. With this, though, it's not the case. They just get the declared war and defeated me opinion. So we should actually be killing off our vassals as well. So that we're not having a bunch of people who hate us, who, who basically we've stolen their freedom from. Um, I never realised that was such a big issue. Oh well, never mind. Problem solved, eh? Thank you very much. Um, I feel like we need a big old vassal purge. We could just revoke all the towers and go full North Korea mode for a while, and then dish them all back out again. That seemed like a good idea. We're pirates, who the hell cares? Yayo Yayo, dreaming? There we go. Alright, so the last one independent now is just Talon. Yeah. Not a big fan that they managed to get independence just by a mutiny. It doesn't. I mean, especially as it wasn't a mutiny against us. That's my that's my biggest complaint. Right. Um. Welcome back, Talon. And then we're gonna get rid of basically everything under us, and hopefully, uh, the assassinations will stop. Fingers crossed. Right. Everybody, charge. Um. This is a horrible idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. This is an absolutely terrible idea, but I'm t I'm gonna do it anyway. Fuck it. Nice. Okay. They they've been destroyed. Oh, nice. We actually defeated them there. Holy shit. A crippling blow. Um, May Lenard, why was I trying to make friends with you? Oh, you're going to die anyway. Fuck you. I, I don't remember why I was trying to make friends with this dude. Oh, because he had loads of favours on the council, right? It's not even... Well, he is on the council. I guess he doesn't have his favours anymore. No, no one cares. Just a random dude. Return a favour to Corsair. Basby over the Isle of Serpents. So when we get enough gold, one thing I did want to do that we kind of started to do last episode but never actually got around to. Tiles and offices. Grabbing this as soon as possible would be incredible because that lets us revoke tiles from rebels, vassals, um, traitors, murderers. A lot of people, really. General pirates. Um, sure, there you go. We'll give our wife some more health there. Health for the wife. Can we have some health, please? Right, okay. No more wars for a while. Let's, let's try and sit around and heal up so we don't die to this horrible infection. Okay. Good work, team. Now, I'm going to restart revoking every single title. First things first, we need titles and offices before we can do that. Um, can you piss off? There we go. Um, can you also piss off? Uh, she has escaped. God damn it. Okay, she's gone. Uh, we're going to have to send an assassin after her then. I guess, you know, because she heard of us trying to grab the first dude, she probably ran off as a result of that. Um, auto stop plots. Please stop trying to murder me. Uh, it's, it's like we're a kinslayer or something. It's like she doesn't like us too much. Uh, yeah, actually fuck off though. Man, is that really... I've only got 38% against her. Um, Plot to kidnap 38%. Seeing as she's a pirate, I'm going as far as more people don't want her assassinated, you know? Oh, apparently we don't have a plot against her. Right, okay, let's try that again. No toad. Kill her dead. Um, I'm happy to spend as much money as possible to make this work. Um, we get an extra 12%, an extra 8%. No, even if we bribe everyone, we're, we're going to get nowhere close. I mean, let's just be careful then. Let's just try and make people like us a bit more. We could at least find out who the issues in the realm are based on, you know, my wife. My own wife. What is wrong with you? Touched. Apparently so, seeing as you're pregnant. Um, what do you mean? Pirate minus... Is she not a pirate? She is a pirate. What the fuck is wrong? Oh, Kinslayer is minus 25. Yeah, you're right. People are conspiring to kill me. Yeah, what a shocker. There we go. Everyone stop the plot now. Um, risen up in talent. Again, that's not my prerogative. Oh, I'm so annoyed that we can't do anything to stop this. So basically, we've got to wait for this mutiny to win. And then declare war on them again. We could just revoke it, I guess. Uh, they're saying no. Why? But instead of valid revocation, if we have a truce... I think we need to... Oh, look at that. The council are actually in favour of it. Why? Push it through then. Boom. 
Holy shit. Well, that was so easy. I don't know why they suddenly changed their mind. Um, right, okay. So then we'll basically just revoke all of these boys' titles. Thank you very much. Again, I don't care if it makes us a traitor. Um, because it's going to allow us to basically do a full reset of the land. So that's minus 15 with that dude. And we also can't. Uh, Death Isle. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that one. Six out of four. This is so good. And the thing is, even if they say no, we can just crush them now because we have so much domain. Yes, I will take the Lordship of the Howling Mountain. We inherited Talon. Well, that's one way to stop the mutineers, I guess. Um, Isle of Vines. Thank you very much. No, we can't declare on any... Or we can't revoke for any of these dudes because we are at a truce with them. Okay, fair enough. There we go. Now we're looking a bit more powerful. Now, again, we are eight out of four, which is going to crush our... Um, basically everything. Taxes. Oh, this dude still loves us. I like your eye patch. Oh, God, he's got butterfly fever. So any non-Narthy living in Narth has a chance to get the butterfly fever. We could hold Narth, but if, as long as it's not our capital, we won't catch it. So only if you're actually present in, in Narth. Um, so the Narthy people are immune to this butterfly fever, but it, foreigners aren't. So this guy's got a health minus six. Oh, God, he's got like a health minus eight. Okay, you're dead. Call for my physician. Oh, there's no point. That, dude, that dude's gone. See you later. Um, he's also severely injured as well, probably because he pulled out his eye, did the whole- There we go, pirate sacrifice. Fuck it, we might as well hold Narth then, seeing as we're just going to be giving it to vassals over and over again. Isle of Lice, you are the only pirate realm not under us now. Or Corsair, I should say, pirates are something different. Raise the troops. So, one way we can mitigate the loss of gold, the loss of taxes, by having such a massive, sort of, oversized realm, is sending all these troops off raiding, basically, constantly. Um, that would be a nice way to get around the, the tax losses there from being way over our domain. Probably not a bad idea as well. Um, someone's discovered my plot and isn't... Okay, who gives a shit? If someone knows we're trying to plot to kill our sister. This just in, we're a kinslayer. And nobody is surprised. Right, thank you, I'll be taking that one too. Nice. Okay, so, current goal then. Basically revoke everything we can. Take full control over the pirate isles. Redistribute them to some extent. But honestly, do we really need to? Again, it's going to affect our gold. It's going to affect our levy reinforcement rate as well, I believe, in our top levy size. Besides that, though, I mean, there's going to be no one threatening us. Mutineers, I can't imagine, will be able to get enough men to stop us at this stage. Basically, Jesus just not needs to die. Not needs... Yeah, you know what I meant. New court physician. Um, he's a, a warrior. Fine. He is a renowned physician, though, so you know what? I'll take him. Uh, just to try and hopefully expedite a treatment a little bit. He does dislike us a lot, eh? I better send him a gift. Give him an honorary title as well. Um... Here you go, pal. What would you like? Court jester or court tutor? Uh, there you go. Oh, we could also raise Mr. Nobility. It's 80 gold. You know what? I kind of... Then now he hates us. Why does it do that? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why? Fired from council? Fired from fucking council? He's still on the council. Oh, you big prick. That's such a... Oh, there we go. Plus 11. All right, that's fine. Sorry. I was getting a little bit angry over, uh, over, over apparently nothing. Right, there we go. We're trying to, you know, you know, convince him that maybe our life is worth saving, even though everyone else disagrees. Hey, you know those treatments? How about applying them to my giant, gaping, infected, pussy wound? That would be kind of nice, because I'm almost dying here. So we've got health, health minus three. We've got plus one from strong. Uh, so we're back up to three health, assuming we started with five base. Um, 0 0.25 as well. Oh, 0 0.5 from family focus. At 3.5 health, we're not at a massive risk of dying, but it's not ideal as well. I was kind of hoping we'd have healed by this point. Chode Toad, our son. Welcome. Terrible. Just fucking god awful. Get out of here. You're going to be called, um, Drown. <laughs> I was going to write, you know, Drown this Toad. Someone please kill this Toad. You know, I just think Drown Toad is incredible. Right, there we go. Um, a minus 75 opinion for us. He was just born. I feel like that's, that's uh, par for the course, really. Pick an ambition. Um, a good son. Is that, a, is that a valid ambition? No? Okay, then we'll just have five children instead. I really do like the soundtrack to this mod as well. This song just came out and it's like, absolutely, we're going to put this one on in the background. Let's go raiding. Um, we'll leave Corsair King Jesus at home, but the soundtrack is banging, so obviously we've got to go and do something about it. Right, okay, everybody on the boats. Uh, we should probably raise some other troops as well. Right, there we go, team. Squad up. Um, let's head over to Gogsos. Let's, let's just sort of send everyone else from there. Jesus, is this, is this too loud? It's probably going to be too loud in hindsight. I'm going to have to tweet the audio, aren't I? Right, okay, squad up, on the boats. Have we got anybody else? Oh man, we've got way too many boats for the troops that we've got, Jesus. Um, 580, yeah, no, okay. Um, split this in half. Yeah, we can be fine just with that lot. That's fine, 95 boats. We've got to think, I also want to take plenty of boats for the loot as well, but I also don't want to spend a fortune on boat upkeep. Right, send these guys off to go and raid in my name whilst, uh, of course, their King Jesus puts his feet up and hopefully doesn't die of a fucking infection. Almost to Karth, get that dragon horn. Get a glass candle, get us some, uh, well, basically anything at this stage will do. Can we join, can we join the Alchemist Guild? 
We can. All we have to do is be Mystic Skull and Metallurgist, Fire Obsessed, Lunatic, Erudite. I, I thought maybe there would be some limit on Corsairs or Pirates joining the Society, but I, I guess not. Okay. So in that case, we'll try and join the Alchemist Guild. Gives us access to Wildfire. I think a pirate fleet launching Wildfire at people is pretty fucking formidable. Not only that, it gives us the ability to actually, you know, make silver and gold, create fake valuables. Um, we can make gemstones and try and sell them off. Literally be a pirate. That seems like a cool idea. Um, so all we have to do is take the Mystic Focus. Not only that, but it would allow us to use the Shade of Evening as well that we've got kicking around. There's a lot of good reasons to actually take the Scholarship Focus. Um, the only reason I'm not right now is because I don't want to friggin' die. Hey, get out of here. Top bog. This is this is nothing personal. Wait. Wow. I can. Oh god. There we go. Okay. While he's been embroiled in conflict, we've been raiding the lands loyal to Jet Black Emperor Top Bog Spoth. He will be displeased. Minus forty. It's it's just business, pal. Minus hundred with Top Bog Spoth. He's in hiding. Um. Why is he in hiding? Is he? Someone's trying to murder Top Bog Spoth. How dare they? What do they think they're doing? All right. Um. We've got a treasurer. She's pretty good. Okay, uh, yeah, you should work for me. Vassal opinion minus 20, because she's a woman on our court. Whammon with money coins. Whammon can't count. What are you thinking? Jesus, good lord. I'm, I'm saying Jesus as in that's his name. Um, I understand more about... I might not... Uh, sorry? I might understand more about money than I do about people, but that doesn't mean I couldn't use an expertise about the Rams economy. So impress. Adoros. I thought this was another another guy trying to be put on the council. Sure. Um, I'm sure this man here with eight stewardship who's apparently some sort of warrior doctor, will, will definitely care about my uh, stewardship techniques. There we go. Um, blackmail the vassal? I mean, who cares? Well, we should probably be antagonizing our vassals to some extent, so we get righteous imprisonment on them. Speaking of which, I should probably deal with everybody else who's ever tried to kill me. You'll do. Ah, uh, but if he rebels while we're off raiding. We'll wait until we get back before we take this dude out. Right, now move in. Um, now that we've got some morale. Classic... 101 pirate raiding. Don't move in without, you know, full morale there. Don't do a naval landing into almost as many troops. Right, okay. How many? How much gold have they got kicking around here? Actually, a, a ridiculously good amount. There we go. No longer effective. The color has returned to his face. Back on the troops. Wait. Uh, excuse me. Back on the troops. There we go. We're wounded. Honestly, what's wounded to a man that's strong? There we go. Uh, no, no, no. I wanted you on the center. That's why I clicked the freaking set. 26 marshal. How the hell have you got 26 marshal? Brave, poor fighter, genius, strong, brilliant commander. What's his base? Base of eight. Oh, that explains a lot. Right, so he's just he's just naturally incredibly gifted at, at martial prowess. Right, we're taking all your gold. Um, yeah, you can get out of my prison. Thank you very much. And we're now scarred. You got to remember, this is Holy Fury. So the more scars you get, the more sexy you are, and the more people like you. So hopefully we can get to a few more jewels here and there. Only 32 as well. So we've got this dude for a good few years still yet. Yeah? Right, thank you, Karth. Um, kind of a shame that to actually get their treasures, we're going to need to bring like 10,000 men. But hey, that was that was a, a good amount of gold there. Right, so what other provinces nearby are lucrative? Um, Karkash isn't bad. Qual, I think, wasn't bad. What about the Jade Gate? Jade Gate is pretty crappy. We'll head over to Karkash. We might even be able to... Oh, man, they've got a garrison of like 14,000 men right now. Jesus! Port Yosh with its 16,000 men. Is there any way we can just siege? Yes, this one we can. So, Cape of Skulls. The only reason I want to siege them down is to try and get their delicious, delicious blue drank. That will be good. So, I'm going to the dentist. Right, okay. Uh, excuse me, I would like this. Oh, here we go. Ironborn longships cut through the water, swift and sure. Not quite. Close enough, though. Thank you for the gold. Right, um, I'm actually here for your, your drinks, though. So, if you could give me that. Every... Run? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Alright, well, we've got plenty of gold. How much did we get? 144 gold. I'm not kind of happy about that, I'll be honest with you. Um, economy map mode. E. No, Q. Wait. S? I have no idea. Uh, what is economy map mode? U, of course. U for economy. Um, I guess we could attack Yin. We've got 9,000 garrison there. Port Morak has a fair amount of garrison as well. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, Pharos isn't bad. They've actually got a lot of gold kicking around as well. Fahar is good. They've only got 4,000 men defending it, and they're an island with a lot of just average gold kicking around. Just your standard sort of loot bar gold. So well, let's go and deal with that one then. Um, mutineers have risen up in the Isle of Lice that we can do absolutely nothing about. Fantastic. Oh, we can take the trade post out as well. Thank you very much. Trade post was seven... Was that seven gold? Oh, I thought it was 700 gold then for a second. Jesus. No, a good seven gold. Nice work, team. A few more troops. Vahar might be a good province to just repeatedly siege down. Because they don't have many defenders, and it's an island. So it's not like they're going to bring in any, uh, you know, any reinforcements. Goodbye, Bassa. Who was Bassa? Was she not my... 
I have no idea who Bassa was. Rest in peace. We just inherited the Isle of Lice. Where is it? Isle of Lice. Thank you very much. Um, I don't, I don't particularly want the Isle of Lice. You're not, you're not really selling it to me, pal. Welcome to you. Tides are coming to severe injuries. Probably did a whole Corsair sacrifice again. Um, is it some massively sneaky ploy to kill off all the pirates? Don't worry, guys. I've modded in blood magic. That's fun. Haha. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, big brain, galaxy brain meme. Actually, they'll just die and we'll gain their lands. Adoros men have been... <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read this event whilst talking. It's not working. Adoros' men have been out drilling routines. It's almost embarrassing to see them in action. Is this our court position? Well, why is he drilling the men? Commander will get the soldiers up to... Oh, right, so the men are, are disappointments, not him. Right, I figured we'd attack Valyria because they're fairly def undefended and they have a fair amount of gold. I actually wanted to attack Illyria, but they have a lot of dudes sort of kicking around. Oh, 100 men. What, can we siege any of these down? They've all got so many men. Oh, get out of here. Fuck it. Take, take the gold back. We've, we've got to build ourselves up. I honestly feel like we don't stand a chance. I don't, I don't like, you know, I feel like it's much more lucrative to be burning places down. Especially if we're going to the effort to move all the troops over there. There we go. Right. That's a pretty decent amount of gold, though. I can't complain too much. All right. 800 gold. Spend that on the peasant farms. Any morale is good morale. Do you have anything that gives us just like... Let's take a look here. Um, tax income is kind of irrelevant while we're so far over our domain limit. Um, fort level, we've got tax income there. Any that gives us a good amount of troops. Harbor post for galleys. Um, morale of armies plus 10% is pretty massive. Especially over multiple buildings. Oh my god, there's 10 levels of it as well. Jesus. Um, yeah, there's nothing particularly great in cities anymore. I've almost nerfed it into the ground. It's for the best though. Seeing how kind of... We're still getting plus 2 taxes for a 62 gold investment. That's still nuts. That's still very, very powerful. Right, um, what's our monthly income then? 1.85. Yeah, like I said... If we're going to hold this much domain, we need to be basically raiding constantly to cancel it out. Uh, while some resent your almost despotic rule of Gogasos, you don't say, the competent manner in which you ruled has lent a certain efficiency. As a consequence, you have naturally acquired more powers at the expense of your vassal nobles. More power to the Corsair King. His opinion is because you have arbitrary. Implement medium realm authority for free? Suddenly arbitrary is a good trait. Why did no one tell me about this? Holy shit. Well, that's incredibly good. We just got, what, like an extra 10% levy size? Yeah, we did. Oh, man, that's huge. We lost, you know, five vassal limit, but who cares about that when we've got no goddamn vassals? Can we revoke any titles now? Have we got to that stage where, where titles can be revoked? Um, this dude, not particularly interested. Isle of Flies in our prison. Um, is he in our prison? No, imprisoned by pureborn Navathos the Eagle. Sure, I won't, I won't comment on that at all. Um, Lord Lemus can't revoke him. And Skull Island, we can't revoke that one either. You know what? I feel like we've done pretty well for the whole... Uh, you know, for the whole North Korea mode. Do you want to colonize anywhere in Sothorios? We've got plenty of money. We might as well try and head over to Yin. No, you know what? I said we were going to get some of the, the, the Summer Isles. Actually start work on this reformation. I stand by that. 3,600 men versus our 1,500 men. Our 1,105 men. I think it's probably worth... We're getting a family person trait. We lost Kinslayer. What the fuck? So you can take family focus and lose Kinslayer. <laughs> That's so good. I've been corresponding regularly with my sister Node who tried to kill me and I tried to kill her. I always make sure to see her whenever I get the chance. It's a harsh world and family must stick together. Family first. The rivalry ends. She still hates us. Uh, probably down to the whole assassination thing. Also, we killed uh, three of her brothers. Not only that. Wait, she converted to R'hllor. Well, she's dead to me now. I don't give a shit then. Um, she hates us now because we're a pirate and she's not. She thinks she's better than us, basically. Typical family member. Goes and lives somewhere for a few years and then thinks they're better than you. <coughs> so, uh, not, not that I'm, I'm genuinely not speaking from experience there. Uh, court tutor. Welcome aboard. My wife is apparently a very good court tutor. Still no good kids, though. The Isle of Flies. Welcome. North Korea mode, it's just, the game is just playing itself at this stage. Giving us realm authority for free, giving us all these provinces for free. I order him to stand down, he'll be branded a traitor. Uh, now we can go to this dude and just, uh, wait, what? I mean, we can command to him, well, brand him as a traitor. Um, he's a double traitor now, excellent. Can we do anything with this dude? No, because it's, it's a mutiny. I mean, we actually just can't stop it, it's basically like a peasant revolt. What am going to do, imprison the peasants? Oh, and now he is the head of Skull Island, not a fan of that. Did your claim? Well, that let's just grab it. No, we become his new liege no matter what. Um, we might as well do that one because it gives us slightly more prestige, doesn't it? It gives us 150. Um, oh, no, it just gives us 100. But oh, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, fuck it. I mean, we will take that one back. Thank you. No. 
No, it's horrible. No, please, not a war of emancipation. He's trying to get rid of slavery. Ha who is this dude? King Follard? What the fuck? What did the Targaryens? The Targaryens are gone. Okay, fair enough. He's got 3,000. Oh, he's got 3,000 men. Uh, we will fight them on the beaches. We should never surrender. Did his vassals join? Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, Jesus. So he's got 20,000 men. Okay, now I'm a little more worried. He's got 10,000 men. Okay, still very worried. Uh, he's got 24,000 men. I'm extremely worried. He's got 13,000 men. I've never been more worried in my life. Um, emancipation. Why are they just looking for excuses to cl declare fucking war on me? Oh, we'll do a dragon conquest. Oh, your dragon's dead. Oh, well, now we want to free the slaves. Jesus. Okay. Got fucking Emperor Lincoln over there. Uh, war ends with the following peace terms. Gain 250 prestige. Indentured servitude. Surrendered. To practice slavery is our right. Corsair King Jesus. The practice of slavery is abhorrent and an affront to the rights of man. I hereby demand that slavery be outlawed through the kingdom of Gogasos. You can fuck off. Who the hell are you anyway? Gilbert Follard. I will not bow to this Gilbert Follard from the north. No. I will practice slavery all I goddamn want. Fucking Jesus Christ. What is wrong with these people? It's just always the Iron Throne. Why? We're like two continents away, you weird man. Go and attack these dudes. Volantis practice slavery. They're right next door to you. I don't understand it. Why, why me? It's because they're scared. It's because they know who the true power is in this world. That's right. It's Jesus. <laughs> I hate that we've called him that. I hate it. You're great. So I've been observing the poor performance of Hybersary Aegon. Fine. He sounds untrustworthy. Get rid of him. Fire him. Um, Salt this one down. Because, you know, throwing away troops at the time like this is, is uh, a good idea. Goodbye. Thank you. All right. There we go. Problem solved. So we've only got... Oh my god. We have so few men. Shit. Um... Raise the troops. Here's the plan. They're not going to be able to win this unless they take the capital. So, bring all the troops to the capital. Bish bash bosh. We've got more than enough gold here to raise a thousand million team mercenaries. If we need to, careful. Okay. Um, <gasps> Lord Paramount Jonas the Root is now in our prison. Get fucked, jo God, you have a weird haircut. You, oh, you're a creepy man. I don't know if you can quite see his creepy... It's creepy... Oh, it's a hair lip. Okay, I thought he was just smiling like a... Like Hannibal Lecter there behind the bars. <laughs> Apparently not. Um, I'm, I'm actually just mocking a man with a deformity there. Okay, let him rot. Um, okay, we're fighting Lady Jane Dondarian. Welcome to to die. What's her combat modifier? 50. You are about to die. That's it. Get the fuck out. We're just going to stand in the capital and let them come because they are really, really bad at naval combat. Any form of naval-based combat, whether it's landing troops... Um, picking troops up. Just generally anything related to that. They're, they're goddamn all flat. So we're just going to stand here and smash them entirely to death. Yes. Kill them all. Holy shit. Who did we just get this time? Samwile Tarly. Oh, get fucked, Samwile Tarly, you big shit. We're going to make so much money. Even if we lose this war, we're going to make a fortune in people we're able to ransom off. Assuming they're not released from our prison when we win. Um, what we're going to do then... Mercenaries. Hello, mercenaries. Seeing as we're going to make a, a small fortune from this, raise them. Merge them. Jesus, take the wheel. On our right flank, we have Balash. On our left flank, Ralpho. Oh, Raffo. No, actually, you know what? I want Aegon. Do I want Aegon? This dude's a holy warrior. Um, damage against religious enemies plus 30% versus aggressive leader gives extra damage. You know what? I'm going to take Raffo because that's actually just a bonus. There you go. And now, now we can play what I like to call... Um, fuck the AI in this game, it's so terrible. So, we're gonna get all the boats, get all the boats onto troops. Bring the, bring the boats onto the troops, so there we go. Merge, merge these boats. Oh, it's still not enough, Jesus, I need one boat. That's too many boats. Right, send them over. Um, and here's how you do it, right? Put them on the boats. Then the Iron Throne will think, oh look, they've all left. Let's land all of our troops at once, at half morale. And then we say, hello, Iron Throne army. We were actually here all along, hiding on our boats. It's like we're pirates or something. And then and then we're going to do this for the next 40 fucking minutes. We're only at 7% war score. We're going to do this for 40 minutes. And then we're going to make about 12 gold. I think we might have to pick this up next episode. Thank you all for watching. As you can tell, I, I succeeded with what I set out to do at the start of the episode. And take the Summer Isles. Um, you know what? Blame the Iron Throne. Honestly, they, they will just not leave us alone. This dude is a big shit and I hate him. I think the ultimate goal of this campaign, dismantle the Iron Throne. Burn them all. No, we don't want to take it, we just want to burn it. And now, to thank the patrons for making this series possible, without which, the world would end. 
Children would be left homeless and puppies would be stomped. Big Dick Timmy, Tom Terry 18, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Loras, Haydog, Sidini, Necrophilin, Asuna Kirito, Fukuno Vasquez, Crotus, and the Lizard King, Josh Lindin Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Burge, Powers Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, Orkswolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, and Jackson Woodman. Thank you for not stomping puppies. And as well, to Nathaniel Limburg, Euphrates, Quasar Fox, Jimmy, Jack Allen, Gabriel Van Ders, Luan and Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yoran DeVries, Don Honey 217, Zet McDougall, Joseph Beer, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Will Wade, Chris, Surfball the Swede, The Sage, Asura, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Igor Kozak, Haji Dumar, Noah Gallimore, Pantherpel, and Alpha Scuff. Thank you too for being, um, I guess not a psychopath. I don't really know where I was going with that whole thing. 